what is Vlogstar <laughs> Challenge? The Vlogstar Challenge yes. is a, co a competition for young vloggers, age 16 to 25. Uh, it's all about getting like young people like skilled up um, to make like the content they want to make and selling their brands and how they can do that. What happens before the, the actual competition? What do, you, what do you have to attend? Oh, so we all attended like these vlogging workshops where we got taught um, about like lighting and editing and sound and stuff like that. Um, and just how to vlog really. It doesn't uh, bode well for our interview, does it? Oh, I think <laughs> <it's just> <laughs> <laughs> well, afternoon to you, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. We've had lots of messages of where it's raining and how much it is raining, and I truly do appreciate those. I'm not so appreciative of those people who tell me I don't know what I'm doing as regards hanging the clothes. And thank you for your calls and your messages about chivalry and online dating. Uh, one of the things that we try to feature in the show, and I said, because the narrative on the new show is quite often to have negative stories involving young people, so some positive ones. I'm not sure, having looked at the two in front of me, whether it is as positive as I had at first <laughs> imagined. But there we go. And do you watch any vlogs? Do you even know what a vlog is? I own show good, you know, her before me, Monday to Friday. She's got in on the vlogging app. I tried a couple, and I must admit, in terms of this vlogging, I did wonder if I'm going to get myself in trouble because I do a news show and they want you to be clear of news. So I've held back because I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know how to pitch, but I think it is an absolutely fascinating thing. And you would have said somebody called or somebody related to the Kardashians is nearly worth a billion pounds, and a lot of her stuff is done to things like that. So, what are we talking about? Uh, well, it's vlogging. You'll hear a little more about that in a, a while. But the Vlogstar Challenge program is in its third year and develops over 1,500 16 to 25 year olds across London to tell their stories via vlogging. Joining me now, Alex Loveday Davis. He's the program manager at Vlogstar Challenge and the Media Trust. And two finalists, David Hubert and Raquel Taylor. Let's have a quick listen to a bit of their vlog. Home is where the heart is, or there's no place like home, or home is where the Wi-Fi connects. Well, not for everyone. 50% of the world's population still don't have access to the internet. Why is that a problem? Well, even it's one just funny cat videos, it helps to small into now my boy keeps picking up my phone, he keeps picking up everything, you know, and he's, I can hear him doing the commentary, and they're very various programs now, young children's programs where I see it, but what is vlogging, how big is it? Uh, let me start by talking to you David, it's very interesting to hear the difference there in those two vlogs, because you've done a whole kind of production thing, haven't you? Editing, where, where do you learn how to edit? Um, so I have my editing software at home uh, that I pay for, so it's uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, um, and I've just picked it up from like school and college, um, but it's just something you just have to get hands on with, um, you just have to try stuff out. Um, so I've been doing it for a YouTube for a few years, so I've definitely made the mistakes and yeah. What is a mistake to make on vlogging then? Um, just anything with like the timing or just like getting your lines wrong. Um, vlog vlogging, is it's more just about telling your story, so it's harder to get it wrong, but uh, in the past I've done... Uh, say like skits and funny things like that um so it's it's a lot easier to get jokes messed up there yeah i can, I can imagine that, that that it is alex let me bring you in here because you may or may not know it's interesting that i've read <clears throat> as you do my app coming in here and radio one have just pulled one of the most famous bloggers in the world right from charlie sloth's show because as we talked about before he, I want to talk about what he did, but it was hugely and highly inappropriate. What sort of things might we see in this Vlogstar Challenge? What sort of things were you looking for? Stay hungry! Uh, mm. 
Well, that's that's exactly what we're trying to do here with Media, Media Trust and with the Jack Petrie Foundation is fund and create awareness how to make great vlogs and really, really promote a positive message as opposed to because it's a tool. It's a tool for expressing yourself. And we're, we're human beings, aren't we? We have stories that we want to tell. And sometimes the tools can be misused and the, the wrong messages can be miscommunicated. So we really are trying to kind of promote that positivity through, through really creating awareness within our workshops. Um, and I think, yeah, it's, it's about generally upskilling young people so that they really are aware that when they're creating a vlog, that it is going out to a huge audience, you know? That's what's great about it. It's, it's, you, you do appeal to a niche, yeah, but you, you can do, also but, have a mass appeal but, as but, well. But, but you do sound like somebody's peer, because you're talking about upskilling, uh -huh. and they're doing something which is completely for them natural. It's organic. You're doing it because... You, you found that you're skillful and you're talented and you can express yourself in a particular way. Well, how on earth do you judge that? Well, that's it. I mean, I think it comes down to that learning process, doesn't it? I mean, we don't always make positive decisions. And actually, sometimes you have to respond, I think, to your audiences, to your comments. I think a good something we've learned a lot, actually, through, through doing the process or through doing the course, is that some comments are warranted and it's great to have constructive feedback. But also you can't listen to always all the negative comments. Otherwise, you're never going to create anything. You're never going to take risks. And also you're not going to create because these vlogs are artistic and they are brilliant at communicating certain messages about it to certain niches. So I think it is about taking risks, but also being aware. We've got common sense. There was, you know, there was the whole Ferrari with Logan Paul that caused a massive, massive outrage. And I think that really made, um, you know, YouTube and the people that do carry... He's, he's made a million, he's made he's, millions of pounds. He made so much money yeah. that he was going to donate a million pounds as an apology. But what he did in terms it's, of bad taste, Mm. How sensitive are you, uh, David? Tell me, tell me, because I read all the time about... Because you're putting yourself out there, both of you, right? You're putting yourself out there. And it is possible that the people who are looking at it may not be as uh, sympathetic, tactful, or understanding as you would want them to be. Have you had any negative comments, I suppose? 100%, yeah. Um, I don't pay attention to the ne negative comments as much because for every one neg negative comment I do get, there's 50 others uh, who are like in support of my channel. They're saying, oh, I love this video, I want you to do more. So you just have to block it out. Um, and as well, at the end of the day, I know I'm just starting out, like I will get better. Um, so you just have to believe in yourself, know that you're gonna go forward, you're gonna be stronger. Um, just block it out, well, don't uh, listen to that. Uh, I, I wish I was like you. <laughs> I, I, could, I could do a show, right? And there are 500 people out there watching this show. 499 of them are laughing. And one person is sitting there sleeping and, uh, and, and somehow your focus is on that muppet that's mm. sleeping. What know? sorts of subjects do you do then? Give me, just quickly give me an idea. Of With regards to YouTube and that? Yeah. Uh, so I mainly do like sort of like funny entertainment videos for like my friends and family. I also do like vlogs and... Um, you take the mickey out yourself? <laughs> all the time. That's mainly what my channel is. Oh, I've got to say, if you ain't got to you can't take the mickey out yourself. You're, you're going to have a problem. Can I wish you both the best of luck? And I need to ask you some well. Uh, so look, the prize is on offer, £500 worth of camera equipment. I probably should have let you do this, Alex. <laughs> £2,000 towards an organisation, school or charity of your choice. Have you got those lined up already? Yeah. If you win, of course. <laughs> uh, one of one-to-one um, -one mentoring with a YouTube professional, four weeks of work experience with uh, four of Media Trust corporate partners, 1,500 young people from across London and Essex trained in day-long workshops to film themselves speaking on camera like a YouTuber. Each finalist will showcase a new vlog for the grand final that will be judged live on the night at BAFTA. You nervous? Either of you? No? Excited? Nervous? Tell me nervous and excited. <laughs> um, obviously, like, I mean, it's going to be great. You're in it. You're already... Okay, let's do, mm. let's, let's do the, the common sense stuff. You're already a winner. You know that, right? Mm. Do you know that? You don't know that at all. You, you, you're, you're looking at me like, <laughs> don't give me any of that encouraging <laughs> nonsense. They're all oh. winning. <laughs> seeing, their, seeing their vlogs on the big screen at BAFTA, what can you say any better oh, than that? Absolutely. That's already winning. Right? Well, yeah, but they're not having it from me. They're not having it from me. Come on, I need words of advice. Uh, you know, kids like mine, nine years old, picks it up and with cameras now, with the iPad or tablets or whatever. There is 
opportunity, there are probably three things that you can download, iMovie or whatever, to create something. First of all, what advice might you give any young, youngster listening to, younger than yourself, mm. I mean? I would say just keep at it. Um, it's going to be hard at the start, especially to fit in the time to make videos around like your daily life. I mean, every, everyone's got jobs to go to, everyone's got school. But if your heart is really in it, um, I would say just keep at it and eventually uh, you will see the progress and people will start to notice that as well. Um, people will start to enjoy your videos, so yeah, so yeah. just keep at it. Yeah. And, it and from you, Rocco? Start straight away, don't wait to start. Oh, I don't leave it to them like me. Tomorrow, next week, next month, yeah. <laughs> do it, just do it. And Alex, final word from you quickly. Just a word of encouragement. Obviously, your part in this is kind of helping, encouraging, and you know, media trust, repetting. Just one word of advice. We want to give the young people some encouragement. They're on their six week, seven week, eight week holidays. A word of advice on this quickly for me. Yeah, absolutely. It's about just being clear with your message, persevering on what you're doing, and also just getting the basics right, you know, framing yourself correctly, and just keep at it. It's about persevering, it's about continuing to vlog about stuff that you're really passionate about. And that comes through whether you whether it's clear or not. Yeah, maybe. And maybe show it to somebody you trust. Yes. <laughs> and just an, an indication of <laughs> yeah. whether you're along the right lines, because even the experts make horrible, horrible mistakes. Lovely it's a boy. pleasure meeting both of you. I wish you both the best of luck. And you never know. I might even see you. And then Alex X will bring them in. Appreciate it very much. There you go. Positive stories around young people. I'm looking for more of those. Send those into any topic. BBC. Dr. 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 Dr.